The Playhouse at Rodney Square has been bringing Broadway shows to Wilmington for more than 100 years, and this year it closes its season with The Sound of Music. And here to tell us a little bit about the show is Amy watson Bish, who has already seen this version of the show. Uh, Amy is the Associate Director of Marketing for The Playhouse. Welcome to The Wilmington Show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So, t so, what is it? So, how many performances of The Sound of Music have you seen, and where does this In one rank? In my lifetime? Yes. Or, oh, geez, I can't even think back. Uh, I mean, of this particular one, I've seen just one other time but of course there's been the movie that everyone knows and loves and then high school productions aplenty over the years but this one it, it differs a bit from the movie people are so familiar with um, they've gone back to the original source material and the memoirs since it was based on a true story the Von Trapps were real people uh, and all the political elements were real um, and so it, it, it'll surprise some people it'll switch the order of some of the songs but all the songs that people know and love are there. Um, but it's a beautiful production, and I'm happy to end our season with it, and especially around Mother's Day. It seems yeah. fitting. So, Amy, you get paid to go. <laughs> we're going to cut to the chase. <laughs> you get paid to go to New York and watch all this, all these wonderful plays Most on of them, Broadway yeah, yeah. <laughs> before they go out on the road. Yeah. Do you pick which ones? Um, um, are they coming to Wilmington? Um, not all of them. Okay. Um, a lot of times we have our programming director, Steve Bailey, and uh, he works with agents that are pitching the shows to him mm -hmm. and obviously since I, I see a lot of shows I'm integral in like telling him like well this show might work and this one might right. not um, a lot of the times we don't have an option as far as which shows are coming and going because they might be on the other side of the coast mm -hmm. um, at the wrong time of the year but right. um, I do try to put in my two cents. <laughs> right, right, right. When, you, when you go to a Broadway show, there's just a little Wilmington thing. Yeah. When you go to a Broadway show, what's that day like? Like, do you just do you just take the train in? Do you? Typically, yeah, I'll just take Amtrak or go up to Hamilton and, and take the train in. I prefer the train. Don't have to and worry about it. And then it comes, and then you, you're back in time yeah. for bed. Yeah. Which, which are your best three plays, uh, Broadway shows that you see? Uh, recently, Recent, in recently. the last in the last couple of years, I mean, I wish I could say Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> I unfortunately have not been paid to go see those ones yet. That's a little <laughs> out of our right. budget right now. Um, but I loved Waitress um, and School of Rock mm -hmm. um, and the play that goes wrong, which is one that we have in our season next year, and nice. it's, it's hysterical. So what else is coming up next season? Next season we we start with Beautiful, the Carol King musical, um, which is a, it's it's just recently celebrated its fifth anniversary on Broadway. Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the play that goes wrong, and which is not a musical. It is a play. It's a comedy, which some of our people might be like, oh no, it's not a musical. Yeah. But it's it's it surprised me how hysterical it was. Yeah. Um, and then we have the color purple, and we close the season That's with amazing. yeah with yeah. Fit, we close the season with Fiddler on the Roof. And then nice. in there we we also are offering uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, the musical. And and The Illusionists and Jersey Boys is coming back. So it's a good so, season. So let me ask you this, Amy. Yeah. You, you've been in Wilmington for some time. Mm -hmm. How big is theater growing? How fast is theater growing in Wilmington? Um, I don't know that it's a matter of it growing. Uh, there's always been a big audience for Broadway. Mm -hmm. I mean, prior to um, the grand taking over programming for the Playhouse, the DuPont company was yeah. doing it, and it was always popular under them. Um, Delaware Theater Company has, you know, had great yeah. success over the years. So yeah, I'm, I'm seeing more and more people getting, and the younger people getting yeah. into theater in Wilmington now. Than, I think than it's ever just, before. you know, maybe the demographics changing somewhat downtown, mm -hmm. and in, and of course downtown itself, just with the resurgence of restaurants and yeah. things, it's encouraging more people to come downtown and try things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Favorite restaurant in Wilmington? Oh boy. She can't say that. Is she <laughs> I want to see where she goes. Oh, it changes all the time. I mean, I guess right now, Bardea. Oh, uh, so. no, it was coming. What do you think about Deco? I love it. I We went to the ribbon cutting a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous in there. That bar is amazing. Yeah, I awesome. mean, we're happy for it because of the playhouse. It's just <laughs> literally down the hall. We're right. so. also supposed to mention that there's free drinks at Deco. If not you, all the time, but <laughs> <laughs> not not always. But Amy said. with Playhouse, with Playhouse, with the Playhouse, yeah, we'll be um, we'll have the offer up soon. But um, they're offering anybody with a ticket 
for the show can get a, a cop, you know, a free drink. Oh, free drink. drink. Yeah. And then there's also a special ice cream available at U yes, Dairy. Yes, U Dairy has been working with us all season, coming up with some creative flavors for each show. And this time they're doing, based off of my favorite things, they're doing apple dumpling ice cream that they'll have out next week. Oh, that sounds man. good. You know, Amazing. some of the best ice cream I ever had was like an apple related ice cream. They actually, when we had Spam a lot earlier this season, they made a, a Spam-ish. It was oh. a maple Spam, no, a maple candied Spam ice cream. It sounds disgusting, but it was really actually really good. It was just like <laughs> salted something ice cream. It was yeah. like having bacon in the ice cream. Oh, so, no. yeah. Yeah, this, the Spam thing does yeah. that to you. Yeah. You know, okay, I have to speak about Bordea since we're talking about ice cream, but well, it's not really ice cream. It's the cheesecake and the sherbet. Oh. Try it. I'm you, just oh, you, have the dessert. It, you have to do it, Amy. All right. All I'm right. going tomorrow so, night. Sound of Music <laughs> coming up on May 9th through 12th yes. at the Playhouse. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and we hope to have you back soon to yeah. talk about more musicals. I'd be happy to. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any positive stories that Zach and myself need to talk about, be sure to submit it at stories.wilmington.love.